the image of not at the time that we see in music and just just in the world in general is and I, it's not just about black people I think <coughs> or people of African descent I think society a lot of the time does this in general oppress who you really are we don't we, we don't want to know who you really are what we want is you to confine to a group thing that will empower us to to basically be able to manipulate your freedoms and, and deal with you as, as you wish. It just so happens that in the structure we're in now, as African people of African origin, we're at the bottom. Um, and so for me, like you say, having some of the experiences that we've had growing up, it was such a strong image and I was just like, my God. And I remember being like in primary school and being hating myself so much um, and just being so, like you say, disenfranchised with the experience of being black, I hated my lips, I hated my hair, I hated my skin, I hated everything. And um, and there's a lot of young black people in, in Britain and in the whole diaspora, and in Africa as well actually, that have that same relationship with themselves. And no, babies don't come out of the womb hating themselves or hating anything. And so this is a learned process of thought, that you can teach a child how to hate their experience, how to hate them and basically buy into what your image of the accepted version of them is. Um, but deep down you know it's not true. So you've got this constant conflict of like, the only way I can get by is by subjecting myself to this. But I know it's not true, but what's the alternative? And so there's this constant, constant, constant frustration and I think there's a lot of young people, like you say, that get disenfranchised, that get frustrated and they don't have the awareness or the education to inform how to, 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 to deal with it. And I was fortunate that I got brought up the way I, I was. And even me, even having that, I still hate myself. Because the reality is, it doesn't matter how much you learn, like how much you understood about who you were, where you came from, how much you understood about the world around you, did it change how, how things manifested? Like, you, we, the, 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 the stats and the figures that are out there to do with education, to do with the prison system, to do with violence, to do with poverty, to do with... Um, uh, just generally, uh, what's the word? The the social and economic position of of um, the group that we're in in this country um, doesn't change. You're still impacted by that. And that was another later lyric in it where it says, um, "I wasn't I wasn't pulled out of the gut. I had my father and my mother. Integrity and goodness we were shown, but it never seemed to matter. All that ever really mattered was was media's identity bestowed." Like, I wasn't, I weren't born, I wasn't a hood you, I wasn't a killer, I wasn't any of the things that society told you that I was. Yeah. And I knew, and still to this day, there's so many young black men and black women in the same position. Um, and, you know, I tried to be well spoken when, when I could. <laughs> um, and still, it made no difference. Women still, even to this day, bro, I'm a big man, I'm 23 years old, I pay my taxes, yeah. I don't, I, I dress, I never got my hood up, nothing. And still today I walk down the street and women will walk on the other side of the world. Women will grab their bags beside me. I, my heart still beats when I see a bully van. And I'm, I'm, I'm legit. I'm a, I'm a singer songwriter, look. <laughs> and so I understand the frustration um, and I understand Man, when this song, when I when I do release a song, it, it talks about it all. But I understand why um, these young people express themselves the way they do because I was one of them, still am at times. Um, there's times I'm in certain situations and I get so ignorant because this higher thought just goes out the window because you're all you want to be is human. That's all you want to be, and you have to consciously and willingly go out of your way to educate yourself about who you are. Educate yourself about your relationship with the world around you, which is cool to an extent, but loud, like, sometimes I just want to play FIFA. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes I just want to walk down the street and just be normal. And it sounds like I'm being melodramatic, especially when you look at history, but it's our times and the struggle is relative, do you know what I mean? It's not melodramatic when you're in a class and everyone else lives the reality that you want. I'm glad you get that message. Finally, we got an interviewer who knows this shit. Now I'm serious. Because that, that, that that's that's just what it's really all about, man. How do you feel about that? Shit, what if I fucking collapse and I just can't do this shit no more? Then what? Like, who, who I'm going to depend on? Because really and honestly, all I got is me.